Hello again folks. In this video I'm going to discuss uh, making the characters on the Word of Gigs like this little fella that you can see on the end of the seesaw. Here we come to the little characters on the seesaw which people seem to like. Uh, these are the little uh, the little boy and girl I made. The girl's got quite long legs which I thought was quite nice. I made them a bit longer than they probably should be. Um, and I painted them all different colours. I quite like making these actually, it's quite good fun. Uh, anyway, I'll just show you how I do those. Basically, it's, it's quite simple. They, they look a bit carved. They're not carved, I'm no good at carving. You just cut out a basic shape like you did with the others, like that. That's the main body part, or that's the one for the... That's the girl and that's the boy, although they wouldn't have much difference. And then the legs, again, are... are just cut out from these blocky pieces like this. This is only scrap wood. Try and try and cut them out of fairly thick stuff like I did before. This is getting on for half an inch, and and then you can sand them down afterwards to make them look right. So these are the legs, and uh, as I say, they don't look very good at the moment because they're very square corner. But what you do when you get, I'll take those out of the way. There's the leg there for the girl. Um, I'll put put the boy out of the way from her. That's the girl, that's one of her legs. Can't remember which way it goes on there, it's probably the other side. But then when you've um, when you've done it, if you do like I said before on the other one, get a sharp knife, you can cut the sides off and you end up with a, a sculpted leg like that. The inside doesn't matter so much, just round the corners off because they don't show. But the, the actual leg itself is now a lot thinner as you can see. It starts off thick like that. And there's no science to it. I say, as I mentioned before, I'm hopeless at any, like, I can't do carving. I've never done carving. I just simply cut the shape out on a fret saw, and then I just sand them off. Now, you can either use a little Dremel tool for your sanding, if you want, and, and go around with that. Or, what I tend to do is just use a sharp knife around it, and then send it afterwards. If you've got a belt sander, it's quite handy, <coughs> because to make it a lot easier... You, you need to make the feet a bit smaller actually, like like I've done there, well, tapered is the right word. You need a square edge where it fits onto the body, like that, because you've got to fix it on there. There's no movement in this by the way, the movement's in the seesaw, not the body, so it's just going to be fitted on there. So you need a square flat edge on it to fit it on the body, like that. Um, this is the one I've sculpted, I'll use that, like that you see. Um, so, so that needs to be nice and flat. But this piece, it doesn't matter. So what I do, I get it on the belt sander, and I just press down on that corner and that corner, so to taper the leg, and then sand it and make it round, and that's the job done. Um, when you're doing it, it's much easier to, to cut. If you're going to do more than one, obviously, cut some little... This is just some very, very thin plywood, which I use as a template, and I've just cut these out of some scrap wood on the legs. And then when you want to do another one, it's simply a matter of laying that on the wood and drawing round it, job done. You know, it saves um, printing out things to stick on or using carbon paper. So it's always worth making patterns like that if you're going to do quite a few of them. I've got a pattern for each of the legs. Um, as you can see, I've already made quite a few of them in this pile here. But I say, just sculpted. Now, when you come to fit the legs on, I've learned a bit from this because I've done quite a few, don't forget. And uh, the first ones that I did, all the legs fell off. Because what I did, I thought, oh, I know what I'll do. Best thing possible. Instead of woodworking adhesive, I don't trust it. Even I know, When I say I don't trust it, that's not correct. I mean, it's probably one of the... PBA is one of the best things you can have uh, for general woodwork. But I don't trust it outside, even the waterproof stuff. I reckon it comes apart eventually, especially if it gets a real good soak in. And so what I decided to do, I thought, I know what I use. I use some super glue. Problem solved. Best glue you can get. So what I did, I created it like this, and I super glued the legs on like that. And then I painted it all up and put varnish on it, and I thought, wonderful job. Job's done, you know. Anyway, they look fine. I put them outside, and I took one over to my daughter's and fished it up in there. And of course, what happened? The legs fell off, didn't they? Of all of them. For some, the super glue doesn't like the water either, and the legs fell off. So you'll see, I don't know whether you can see this, but I'll try and move the camera in closer so you can see what I've done. What I do now, hang on, I'll find the camera. It's very difficult trying to find the camera when, you, when you've got it on zoom. Now, what I've done on these, I've actually put a little brass screw in, to be simple, and that one, I put a dome dead one on that one, a round head brass screw. You can't see it, can you? I'm going to move the camera out. It's, too, it's hopeless trying to do it on zoom. Uh, I'll put a little screw in both legs. So what I've done with these, I super glued them, and as you'll see there, I put a little screw. In this case, I put a countersink screw. In these, I've just put a little brass screw. Now, 
obviously you can hide the screw if you want. I've just left them showing on that. This is one where the legs actually fell off and I just cleaned it up and glued him back on and I put a screw in. That's why the screw shows and it's not painted, but these, the screw's hidden. But it's just a good tip. If you're doing it like that, uh, do put something else, some fixing in as well. Screws are better than nails because nails are awkward to get in. Screws, you can hold it and drill it and put a little screw in, a little brass screw in. If you try nailing it, you'll probably break it apart again. But if you look at them, they're not, they're not bad actually. They almost look, to me anyway, they almost look carved in one piece, although they're not. And as I say, when you look from, from the front, they, they don't look like any good at all really. But when you put them on the side like that, on a seesaw jogging about, they look quite good. And the, the brighter the colours you paint them, and the more quirky they look, the better, I think. I quite like them, actually. People do seem to like these. And you can paint the socks different colours, different coloured socks and, and stuff. And I'd, I'd say for painting, uh, I just use acrylics. I'll perhaps show you that later. Anyway, that, that's the characters done, I think. But if there's any questions, please do ask. Bye for now.